Well, hello everyone, I'm here with my last LEGO Star Wars 20th Anniversary review, and this one is on the Slave One. Well, 20th Anniversary Edition, of course. So, on the front of the box here, you see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, with that neat border from 2004 and 5. And also the 20th Anniversary uh, sign there. And showing the collectible minifig of 2000 Princess Leia, of course. A picture of the Slave One in action. And then age recommendation is uh, 10 and up. Set number 75243. Has 1,007 pieces. And then flip to the back to see the resting position, the features of it. And then all the collectible figures that are given throughout the sets of this wave. And then see, uh, the, and also the original version of from 2000. And since, of course, there were several versions of this released over the years and the And on to the instruction booklet. As you see, same pictures on the front of the cover and everything. Little write up of the 20 years. And then a short comparison of both this and the original 2000 version. And then a little thing, something about the uh, Leia in this set. And also of the other sets, which I have also reviewed. And some screen caps, and then also one from episode two, of course. Hang on. Oh, so sorry. And then after Lego, of course. And then on the back seat after the online survey, and the pieces that come with the set, which is three pages actually. Then after the winter wave of sets from this year, after the action battle sets, and the uh, minifigs included in this current wave, and then Lego Life there, and the last building sets. And now, on to the minifigs included with this. First of which is 20th Anniversary Edition Princess Leia. As, as you can see, uh, the prints of which, so it of which complete replica of the original version that came in the first Millennium Falcon set from 2000. Decides to focus. But it also does have the like, same hairpiece that's been used for several other versions of her. And on the back, you see the 20th anniversary print. And just like with the other ones in this way, which we really have. That face printer was also the same as the original versions. And just like 20th anniversary Han and Han Solo and Lando Calrissian, you can also do have the microphone blasters from the early times in the end. Okay, there we go. And of course, with each 20th anniversary figure, you get 
this little stand that has the name and everything, of course. Give me the John like so. And a 2x4 plate that connects it to the other ones, which I will, of course, do later. And then, next up, a witch is a Boba Fett. So, this torso print of which uh, it kind of seems it's been since uh, around 2010 or so. Yeah, yeah, 2010. And the uh, shoulder thing uh, done quite differently, but nice to see it updated here. And the helmet piece also kind of the same, but look under that. Just the annoying angry clone face, which about just like with the other versions, unlike with other ones in the app. But the back of which does have that uh, backpack piece or jetpack piece. And it's two separate pieces rather than just the one separate one whole piece that the original version didn't have. But there is some slight back printing which I am not going to bother with because it'd be kind of a hassle to get it all on in the app. And then next up is Han Solo. But in his hot uh, Cloud City outfit. Oh, which done uh, quite alright. Well, kind of saying this has been from like older sets. This is holding a small blaster there. And same hair piece from the solo line. And there he is from the back with this odd double side face. And then next up is Forlorn. Of which which didn't come in the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack set from two years ago. But of course that was about 15 compared to this set. But if you didn't bother getting that one, well, this here is a good option. But the, the head print, the head molding is done really good. And torso print also done well. And also holding a long rifle rather than a stud shooter, which in battle packs, which they usually get in battle packs. Then last but not least is Zuckus. First time as a minifig. And well, his uh, torso print of which done great. And the headpiece of which I believe really well captures it. Really well done. And there's some slight back printing on both it, both the torso and the uh, uh, this, uh, robe thing, which they did also use for Barris Offy in, in last year. And yeah, and the and once again the headpiece done really well. I think it well does capture Zakis. So. If you're looking to get this character, here's finally ta about time. I hope this means that they'll do boss mess next year or so. And yeah. And also what you do get is the Han Solo and Carbonite. Which was also present in the 2010 version Slave 1. And same as it's been since then. But like, has the same... But also notice that the hair piece in this one. And what the hair piece is in this one. There is not the same hair piece that they use anymore as compared to Han himself here. Which if if anyone at Lego sees this video, please make the 
carbonite piece have the same hair piece as this with give it some updates, you know. And then for the sides are all the buttons of which. And of course on the back side which are the little notches that you can fit on your Han Solo line to like so. And that is about it. The mini fig selection with this. And so now on to the main part of the section. So to the slave one itself. Uh, done really well. Nicely done. So, some designs of which. See, good use of a lot of these jacket slope pieces in dark red. Like all uh, that, and all those like rounded curved pieces. Also done some good use of well, stickers right there. But on and of course on the sides of which you have some good snot there, and good use of those like rounded pieces from the Chima Gorilla Mac. But, and unfortunately, but unlike with the 2010 version, you can't open up any. It doesn't have any compartments to put stuff in. And but you know whatever, I I can get over it. And we have a couple of turns that can like turn up and down. And well, and also like on the films, also like in the movies. The bottom part does flip open, so you can put your carbonite pond into like so. And then on the back part of which, so this has some nice detailing with light of all these tan pieces and blue pieces acting as engines. And also a really big improvement that the other versions didn't have is a little handle made of technic beams that can come out and can hold it like that. Oh, which props to Lego for that. And you wonder what those red notches are for is intact with pressing down and then the flip the fire and the spring will launch or shoot out like so. Oh, which so at least a pretty good improvement, fair good improvement of the 2010 version, which did use the flick fire missiles, which they barely ever use much anymore. And as for the wings of which, you have some fine greebles to them, a couple stickers on them, but nice use of the like uh, clawing piece. And also do have some of those odd tile pieces and whatnot acting as greebles, of course. But this front area, which also some nice, well done use of slope pieces. I think could have used maybe perhaps use some dark, more dark green slope pieces. Does it make it work? Could have worked as well. And the front area, which same as it's been since other versions. And then like, let's take a look in there. There's which the seat for, for Robo Effect. But unlike with the 2010 version of this set, doesn't work with move with the wings. They just do whatever. And I, and of course, a few stickers acting as control panels and everything. And of course, enough space to fit your Boba Fett figure, which of course is important to this. And then put the thing on top in there. And then tilt it up and 
you guys to look forward, of course. Which, of course, is an important thing for the slave one. That one does fly right off like so. some stuff around here and we go on to the final verdict. set is I of which I think really pretty cool set. It's first time getting the slave one in this scale as opposed to UCS form or short form which came in the recent Cloud City set. And also first time having this since 2010. So if you weren't able to get that set, well here's your opportunity to have your own slave one. And of course, do you get the 20th anniversary Princess Leia, which is a nice addition. And also, a, a well done, good improvement over it is the inclusion of Zekas, which could have inc been included in smaller sets. It's, but whatever, it's, it is what it is, I guess. But yeah. I hope this hopefully, hopefully it means that there will be a fig of bossness in the next couple of years or so. If LEGO sees this video, let that, please do so. Let there be a mini fig of boss nest next year or so. Even though the, though this may be a little more than the, or price might be a little higher than the last version, from 90 to 120, but yeah. And hopefully, I hope this also means that there will be a, new version of Django Fett's Slave 1, which of course was never before be made, but yeah. And again, LEGO, if you see this video, please redo that version next year or the year after. So if you're looking to get this set for your original trilogy collection, then go ahead and get it, and yeah. Or if you're having got the 2010 version and want to get Want to get that? Well, also go ahead and pick this up and yeah, whatever. And that is about that. And now for another final verdict of which. So here we have all the 20th anniversary uh, Star Wars sets all right here. So from left to right. Have the Imperial Dropship, uh, Anakin's Pod Racer, uh, Clone Scout Walker, Snow Speeder, and Slave One. And also the complete did form of the uh, collectible figures included with them being Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Lando Calrissian, Darth Vader, and Princess Leia. So, this is which a really good set of which. Some slight remakes of some fan favorite sets, of course, and possibly of ones that haven't been remade in a long time or a little while. With for the Dropship and Clone Scout Walker set, but also first time having Slave One in a little while, and of course first time having Zuckus in a set, to, and yeah. So I think this, so this, so which, a uh, well done wave of Star Wars sets in honor of the 20th anniversary and for a selection could have also done like the Gunkin sub or anything like that but what well, yeah whatever so i think this done pretty well of honoring some of my favorite sets and also including these collectible figures with them which was great of them so if you have these all these sets then I hope you're doing well with honoring the 20th anniversary, and yeah.
And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.